Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today, you are not seeing the 100 day project. I'm switching it up. <laughs> and I got my mission inspiration for February done. I know, I know, it's late. I actually did have it finished before today which for you will be yesterday. So technically, I did get it done in February, just not edited and uploaded. <laughs> so, um, let's see, the prompts, well, the, the new way he's doing the mission inspirations, um, it's kind of a theme rather than prompts, and it was kind of about, kind of about maps and travel. I was trying to see if I had a picture of the mission inspiration thing. Oh, um, okay. So it is location, location, take maps as your inspiration, street road, topographical, or a secret treasure map. And I had this tissue, I believe it's a Tim Holtz tissue, that had a map on there. Now that I've done all this to it, you can hardly even tell. Um, and then the colors were green, blue, and sort of an ochre yellow color. So you didn't see me glue the map down, but then I took the yellow ochre color and went around the edges just as a kind of framing device. And then I have the stencil with all these places Location, 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 right? <laughs> and I'm doing it so they're cut off so you don't see the whole thing. And I am doing the um, paint really light so it's just kind of a shadow of it. Um, after doing it, these, these are not my favorite colors. <laughs> um, I feel like I should have used the blue. I don't know how that would have looked on top of the yellow, but um, that would have been my my preferred color choice. But I, I was just in the groove, you know, the map was green and yellow, it had the right colors for the prompts, so that's what I went with. And I'm just stenciling and then rubbing out a little bit, like I said, so that it will be sort of a shadow effect and trying to hold it in one place and do it is tricky. Especially when it's on a book and it's like got that fold, you know? Okay, so there it is. See, it's just real faint. Um, and then I, you know, I'm not really knowing what I'm gonna do, so I found a quote that had to do with maps and it's Getting Lost teaches you how to read a map. And um, it was by Cynthia Lewis, is who that I'm quoting there. And I just pull out, not thinking, not even practically drying my Copic m marker. I just run over it with the brush pen and smear the words. I don't care. It's going on there anyway. <laughs> Two hour projects a day is two months too much. Though I still, I have lots of things I want to do, but I have to get my hundred days each day in, so sometimes you don't get everything you want. Alright, so I'm going to cut that out, turn it into like a little quote plate. I actually have these um, silver brad things that I, um, I was just looking, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to embellish this with and I found these little silver brads in my stash of stuff. And so they'll get added to this here in a second. Oh, and I bought me a corner chomper. I thought I needed one and now I'm, maybe I'm not using it right, but it does not line up properly. So, um, Maybe I need a little education on my corner jumper. Because I have to trim it with the scissors every time. 
And maybe it's just defective. I don't know. <laughs> Pushing too hard. I don't know. Um, if there's a skill to that, somebody let me know how I'm supposed to make that work better. All right, so here I am pushing those through. I got the one in, now I'm doing the next one. And they're kind of small for my fingers. And they're very pokey. So I'm pushing it through, and then I use the pencil to push the paper down because I don't want to poke my fingers. I did on the first one. And then, yes, that is a spoon I'm using to bend the ends down. Just to fold them over to secure them on. I'm pretty sure they'll stay. But yeah, that usually the quilt comes last, right? <laughs> I'm I'm working a little backwards this time. So once I get that on there, I decide to go through my sticker stash. I figured there's probably something in there that relates to travel. And I did find a few items, so I add a few stickers like while I'm holding that down. I've got a couple of circular arrows that I'm going to put on there. Alright, so just getting a little glue on there. It is a sticker, but it's been sitting in my sticker book for a long time. Wanted to make sure it would stay. So I put one on bottom and then I put one on the top. That's probably dry enough now. And I actually found a sticker that was shaped like a tag that had the compass and a bit of map on it and the other sticker that says you are here. So I just cut it apart and split it up and it's making my page. I like the you are here sticker. <laughs> anyway, this is my really quick, simple mission inspiration for March, February, not March, February. Um, March doesn't come out until next weekend, I think. And then I'll get started on that one. But I hope you liked that. I hope you liked a little break from the 100 day project. Um, I'll be getting back to that on the next video. If you did like this one and would like to see more from me, um, think about subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Hit the like button, leave a comment. Appreciate all your comments. I try to respond to all of them if I can. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.